three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower clear. Hello again, everyone. Bill here with the Apollo Project. Um, this is just a real quick video to showcase another, uh, I think, very interesting and exciting and fun little addition to the uh, command module project. Um, as you saw in the previous video, I just completed uh, most of the electronics for the EMS, which is on the left, the entry monitor system. I would mentioned before that I was going to be able to control it from the diski. Uh, well, I've just finished uh, an expansion board for the diski that will allow me to control the EMS from the diski. Uh, the expansion board I've got right right now connected to the there's an expansion jumper inside the diski that has power. It also uh, brings out um, a pair of analog lines and three digital lines. Um, so I've got uh, some of those uh, lines coming out on the board, and on the board I've got a pair of read relays so that they could also control something that's. Uh, uh, maybe a little more power than the digital lines that uh, coming from the Arduino can actually control. So in this case, uh, all they're doing is not really controlling anything high power. They're actually just completing a circuit which will trip uh, a signal over on the EMS. And I've got it tied, uh, the one that I've got connected right now is tied to pin f uh, digital pin 4 coming out of the Arduino. So, and I've reprogrammed the count down or the uh, the time to function uh, verb 16 or verb 25 noun 35 um, so that uh, when it reaches one minute or less it will engage the pin and when it reaches zero it disengages so uh, what that would do that would allow me to do um, something like this I'll do a verb 25, noun 35, and if I wanted to set maybe a couple of minutes here and get that started, um, well at one minute uh, it will engage the relay and then I can move this to um, either the entry mode or the delta V mode. Um, and then at that point, the diski will have control over the the, the EMS. Uh, you'll also notice I've got the backlight uh, installed on the graph. So we go past the test modes. We'll load 37,000. Uh, that's the uh, 37,000 feet per second uh, predicted entry speed. When this gets below one minute, I'll switch to the entry mode. And at that point, the diski has control of the EMS and it will tell the EMS when entry interface has passed. So we're 10, uh, 13 seconds away from uh, moving to entry mode and we will switch to it when it gets there. Okay, uh, so now I can move to entry mode and you notice that the 0.05G light has not lit and the counter has not started uh, decrementing yet. The other functions are still on. They're waiting for things to happen, such as re-entering the atmosphere. Um, but anyway, um, and the, a similar situation will happen for the uh, Delta V. Um, and I will demonstrate that one here as soon as we get this get to see this one going. So we're 20 seconds away. Um, again, I've got uh, two different uh, relays on here. I can control a second device uh, from here. Uh, one thing, that, one other thing that I've brought out, um, and I'll tell you about that here we're, uh, in a little bit. We're um, almost to the point of entry interface. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Entry interface has begun. So this key now has control of the EMS. So I can um, go over here and be able to simulate the Delta V. Um, what I was going to say is that I've also brought out 
Um, I've uh, tacked on a wire to the last of the LEDs in the chain, the one that's lighted right now that says uplink. It's the last of the NeoPixels in the NeoPixel chain. There's four over here. There's, uh, what, 14 here, a total of 18. Um, and by bringing it out, I can connect it to other items, control some additional NeoPixels. Um, what I have done, you, if you've looked at some of the other articles on the website, I have created a caution and warning display that is controlled uh, by the uh, Disky. The, uh, the expansion board I created brings that line out, makes it easier to connect the caution and warning display. So that's uh, another function of that board. That uh, would be a useful little board. Everything uh, that I think I'm going to need is going to be coming off that board that uh, Disky can control. So let's um, uh, do a Delta V mode. Uh, let's go to uh, verb 25. Um, and we're not going to do a whole lot of time here. We'll skip that. Um, give it just a handful of seconds. We'll do a quick 10 second countdown. So when this starts, since it's less than a minute, it will engage the relay. So I've got uh, 10 seconds to switch over to Delta V mode. So I will go to Delta V mode. And in five seconds, the Delta V burn will commence. Two, one, and there goes the Delta V burn. So that's the new update that I've got for um, the command module. And I hope you enjoyed seeing that. Uh, we'll talk with you next time. Thanks. Bye.